Welcome back to another episode of Not A Size Zero. It's me again, Denise. Um, today we're going to be talking about another what's in my bag kind of thing, but it's um, what's in my makeup travel bag. I went to a trip not too long ago, a little bit long ago, and I wish I could go back to another trip. <laughs> and I just wanted to show you guys what I brought, maybe to give you guys some inspiration and ideas if you guys are planning to go on that last you know, last stretch of the summer trip <laughs> to show you guys what's in my bag um, so we can share. <laughs> Alright, let's just get on with it. <laughs> I actually brought, uh, when I went to um, Cancun, I had two different makeup bags. Not because there was a lot, but there is kind of a lot. I wanted to bring the ones, the essential ones, in the plane with me, or on the plane with me, so I can put makeup on before we land and the other ones I just left in my suitcase because I know I wasn't going to be going through my suitcase throughout the plane ride. Alright, so let's just go on. <laughs> um, I'm just going to start pulling out whatever's on top here. I got the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. It's the setting spray. The setting spray does help your makeup last longer, so definitely recommend you just bringing one with you. Next, I brought the Naked, the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. It was actually a really tough decision for me because I had the Naked 1, 2, and 3, so I was like, which one should I bring? I really, really like that it has the matte black. It's really good for those outer corners if I do decide to do a, sm to do a smoky eye. But it also has like Pistol, which is like a gunmetal uh, gray and it has shimmer to it, so it, it can add depth to it, depth to your uh, eyeshadow. And it also has like that snake bite, which is like the more dark brown uh, color. But yeah, I, I chose this one. It also has that half baked, which I used a lot during my trip because it, it is that gold color. It just looks good during summer trips. So I chose the naked too. Um, how about you guys? If you guys had to bring, it was a tough decision for me to bring just one palette, but obviously I didn't want to overpack. Um, so, do you, like, what palette would you have brought if you guys had to choose only one palette in your makeup collection? Leave it in the comment section down below. That's actually a really intriguing question. So, leave your answers down in the comment section below. Alright, so next I brought the Urban Decay Subversion Eyelash Primer. You guys know that I love this so much. Like, it just works with everything. It makes your eyelashes just pop. It just like lengthens my eyelashes really well. I don't know why my, uh, my hands are just like... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Alright, uh, the next one is the IT Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil. This was part of my um, Ipsy review bag and my um, my July favorites um, so I will leave those videos in the description box if you guys are interested to learn more about the IT Brow Power thingy the NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard I love it, I love it, so I had to bring it with um, to my trip brought that one with also brought the Kat Von D Ink Liner in Trooper it, I believe in the box it says waterproof. It doesn't say here, but I, th I thought I remember in the box saying that it was waterproof because I've been using this at the beach and it didn't run on me. I didn't have raccoon eyes after using this, so, you know. I also brought the Rimmel Scandalized Retro Glam Mascara. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> which is waterproof. Also love this product for a cheap um, alternative for a waterproof mascara. This is a really, really nice product. Definitely recommend you guys trying that one out. Another thing that I brought was a Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Um, this just like helps even out your skin and it also just helps um, keep your makeup on longer. Why can't I talk? It helps keep your makeup on longer so I do recommend you guys just bringing this with even if it is one of those travel ones you know it's gonna last you for your trip 
Okay, so next ones are my lippies. I brought three different colors for the three different lipsticks that I brought. So I got the nude one. I brought a nude one, a red one, and a hot pink one just because I wanted to have different varieties. So I got the nude ones just for those days that I just want a nude color. And I brought the MAC Boldly Bare um, one. And then I also got the Rimmel Exaggerated in Red Diva. This is a waterproof liner. It's retractable. And I also got the NYX lip liner in bloom, which is like this hot pink. It's like used up. <laughs> I have to sharpen it. Um, which went along with my MAC Naked Proof lipstick, which looks like that. And um, my Wet n Wild Cherry Picking, which looks like that. It's this beautiful, beautiful color. Beautiful, beautiful, like hot, pink, deep pink. And I brought my Gerard, Gerard, Gerard Cosmetics Candy Apple Lip Gloss, which is beautiful red. Beautiful, beautiful red. Ah, love it. <laughs> and the MAC Lip Gloss in Drawn to Chic, which is that beautiful pink. But I also put this on top of the nude, which works really well. So, yeah, that those were my lip products. I do recommend you guys bringing like a nude one and like a brightly colored one or a more bold one, just so you have a variety in your makeup baggie. Also brought the Maybelline Brow Drama in soft brown. I use this a lot. Sometimes I don't use the IT Cosmetics if I'm like in a rush in the morning but I just want to have my eyebrows done a little bit um, yeah I really like this product this is actually part of my July favorites as well so I talk about it a little bit more in that video I also brought um, two different uh, foundations well one of them is a CC cream and the other one is the foundation because I wanted to have like if I only want something light I'll use the CC cream. And if I want to have like a more full coverage, I go for the uh, foundation. Or if I'm going somewhere fancier, I just want to make sure that I have, you know, a foundation on me. Um, the CC cream is actually really nice because it has a really good coverage. Smashbox Camera Ready CC cream has SPF 30, which is great. And it also is perfect because it's so easy to work with but the coverage is really amazing so this was a really great product for me to bring I could have I could have probably just brought this and I would have been okay without the foundation but I brought both just in case I am in the shade light slash medium for the CC cream and for the foundation I brought the true L'Oreal true match super blendable makeup with SPF as well I Made, I wanted to make sure that I had SPF all the time, so um, I brought this. I am, I, <laughs> I am a natural beige, if you guys were wondering. This is actually, I barely use this because later on when I got a little bit tanner during my trip, it was kind of a, an off color, but with the Smashbox, it was like perfect shade. So, just something I think I should tell you guys that you guys might get darker during your trip so make sure that you have a you know foundation that's a little bit darker than your normal skin tone. Blush, powder blush, I brought a powder blush instead of a cream blush for this trip. No specific reason, I just wanted to bring a more coral color and I really don't have a coral cream. I brought the CoverGirl Cheekers in Pretty Peach. So it's this peach color, really pretty. It's a matte. It's really, really pretty. It's a matte blush. It looks really natural. I love the peach blushes during uh, trips because it is very natural. And then I also brought my MAC Soft and Gentle. Uh, my MAC highlighter in Soft and Gentle. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's so pigmented. Ugh. I. I love bringing a highlighter to a trip because it makes my skin look more glowing and more healthy. Definitely one of the things that I would recommend you bringing is a highlighter, especially if you're going on like beaches, just like makes your skin look beautiful. <laughs>
Um, last two things. Oh, nope, actually. Okay, so um, I also brought with me my NYX matte bronzer in medium. It looks like this. It definitely has that orange tint to it, so it's not a, a contour powder. Um, it is mainly for um, your bronzing purposes. Um, I do recommend you bringing a bronzer with you, especially if you are going to the beach and you're going to go tanning. Um, sometimes your skin doesn't tan up evenly and a bronzer will definitely help you even out everything. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend you bringing one of these with you. I just like matte personally. I like matte everything except right now I like the dewy finish but um, I do like matte um, blush and matte uh, bronzers just so I can use my highlighter to just use, you know, highlight everything else that I want highlighted. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I also brought my Makeup Forever HD pressed powder. I did want to bring a powder to finish off my look, so I went with my Makeup Forever because it, it does a great job with um, just finishing up my look and blurring out any imperfections that I want blurred out. It just, it just makes my skin look really well finished. Um, one of the last things I wanted to show you guys is my Bosha Green Tea Blotting Linens. It's a blotting sheet. I really, really, especially for oily skin, and I do recommend you bringing um, blotting sheets just because, you know, in the middle of the day if your face starts to, you know, get oily, this is your lifesaver. Just saying. The last two things I wanted to talk about are not makeup necessarily, but makeup remover. Um, I do have a couple of things that are waterproof, so I bought the Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover, and this works really well. I just put a couple, I shake it first because if you can see that there's two different colors in this, the clear one and then the blue one. I shake it and then I put this mixture into a cotton pad and just hold it over my eye and just wipe after a couple of seconds. Really works well with just, you know, taking everything off. And I also brought with me my Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelette. I got the hydrating one. I like this so much better than the blue one. I feel like all my makeup gets, like, just goes away easier with this one than the other blue one. Um, and I really like, I mean, I love the smell of this. Just love everything about it. <laughs> I feel like I've been talking forever. I hope this video isn't that long. Um, if it is, I am sorry about that. But these are the things that I brought with me to my trip. And if there was anything that um, you think that I missed, please leave it in the comment section below because whoever is watching this right now may need you know, extra help if they find that there's other things that they want to bring. Um, I think that's it. That's it for the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos every week and, you know, just so you're up to date with the videos that I post, don't forget to subscribe. Practice your right to like.